What's going on, guys? Uh, Jawsy here. Uh, just having a ride out at Curry. Uh, it's not a lot of places to ride at the moment. Um, you know, uh, organised riding on tracks at the moment. Everything's uh, closed over the uh, Christmas and New Year period. Um, so just out in the bush having a little frappy crack. Um, oh, it's not the best terrain out here. It's more the tracks are more mini mini bike tracks out here, but. I don't know, because Jawsy's getting desperate for a ride, so... Uh, come out and have a ride, anyway. Uh, so I thought I'd talk about, like, 2021... Uh, Supercross uh, news. Um, some pretty interesting stuff happening at the moment. Um, you know, Monster Energy Supercross is uh, not far away. Uh, the schedule has been released 28th of October uh, everyone's pretty keen to see what the season's going to look like uh, so obviously there was some delays of the 2020 national season uh, and a shorter off season which means uh, less time for riders who are switching teams to learn their new bike uh, now that this new season's already right around the corner, many teams have changed already from the outdoor season, which recently concluded, and uh, the departure of the departure of Geico Honda and JGR Suzuki teams uh, top of the list of unexpected and unfortunate news. Team closing shop also left multiple riders just without a ride for 21, which is uh, obviously not that good. Um, so the news of who's going where for the next racing season is usually made public at the beginning of October but with COVID-19 pushing outdoors later in the year and the 21 Supercross schedule being delayed in its release teams have been scrambling to figure out who will make the cut for the 21 roster many of these riders have been announced however there is also a fairly large group of teams who have not yet officially stated who will be riding uh, with them next year uh, so we'll keep an eye on it as uh, more news becomes available but for now um, discuss what we do know the 21 AMA Supercross and Motocross team rosters uh, so Markov Honda team uh, former Penrite team now turned Markov Honda We'll have three riders in the 21 Supercross season. Uh, Justin Brayton in the 450 class. Uh, and Mitchell Harrison and Mitchell Oldenburg will race in the 250s. Uh, so those three riders are all confirmed. Uh, so Dylan Ferrandis has had a hand injury. Um, he crashed at Lake Elsinore's Supercross track, resulting in a broken hand. It's uncertain if his hand will heal in time for the first round of Supercross, but we are hoping that it does. After what looked like a very nasty crash, Dylan was fortunate enough to only sustain a broken hand instead of what could have been, you know, a lot, a lot worse. It was a pretty serious crash. Uh, so Derek Drake is going to be out for some time. Uh, he had a pretty nasty injury. After prepping for Supercross on the Bar X Motorsport Suzuki, Derek Drake had a nasty off, which resulted in a compound fracture of his femur. Never good. Uh, it's not confirmed how long he'll be out, but we're hoping he makes a full and speedy recovery after scoring a ride with the team for 21. Uh, Derek wrote on Instagram, Hey guys, over the past three weeks, I've been getting back into riding and training and I've been feeling really good on and off the bike. But unfortunately, Monday, I had an off riding supercross and ended up compound fracturing my femur. I want to give a huge thanks to my family and friends for reaching out and taking care of me. Uh, so that sounds pretty serious. Um, so Jet and Hunter Lawrence news. Um, so the boys have joined the new HRC Honda 250 program for 21, uh, which everyone probably probably knows that already. Um, 
Australian brothers get the opportunity to ride for HRC Honda after the shutdown of the factory connection team. Uh, Malcolm Stewart signs with Star Racing. Uh, so he's going to be riding a Yamaha. So even though he's been seen riding a KDM 450 and Kawasaki KX 450 on social media, he's now announced that Malcolm signed a Supercross only contract to ride for Star Racing Yamaha team aboard a YZ450F be a part of the team's first effort in the 450 division um, so Ty Masterpool wasn't included in the 21 Star Racing Yamaha roster the team was already filled with talent but Masterpool showed great speed by grabbing whole shots leading many laps at the two Red Bull Red Bud Nationals this summer unfortunately a pre-season injury kept him from competing at the opening rounds an injury to his knee, the second red bud kept him from finishing the series. Uh, so Darian Sanaye had a successful career going while racing the MX2 class in Europe, but decided to forgo his final year of age eligibility in the MX250 class. And he came home to America to pursue his dream of racing AMA Supercross and Motocross. The Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki team picked him up fill in for the entire outdoor series but unfortunately a dislocated shoulder at the end of this at the season opener ru ru ruined his season he came back to race at red bud and he was successful in grabbing two great starts one whole shot one second place start and he finished 10th in the first moto but his shoulder wasn't strong enough to continue and he underwent surgery to get it fixed properly darian has yet to confirm a ride for 21. uh ryan dungey news um, so yeah, there was talk about Ryan Dungey racing next year. Doesn't look like that'll happen. Uh, Ryan Dungey stated m multiple times that he wanted to go racing in 21. If he were to find the right equipment and support. But unfortunately it seems he will not return now because he wasn't able to garner the support. The difficult circumstances the world is in right now. So that's, that's annoying, you know. I'm a big Dungey fan, I think he's one of the best to ever do it and uh, you know the idea that he wanted to come back but COVID basically blocked him um, yeah it's, it's really frustrating uh, so teams 21 teams um, so Geico Honda obviously the team is no more which is crazy it's been hard hit to the motocross community as most people already know Factory Connection Honda team, better known as Geico Honda, will not be in the paddock in 2021. After the team's title sponsor, Geico, pulled their financial support out from under the team at the end of the summer. The Factory Connection Honda team was forced to shut their doors. Read more about it on Motocross Action magazine. Um, so where did all the Geico Honda riders go is, is a good question. Um, so as I said before, Jet and Hunter Lawrence uh, we've already discussed it before Jeremy Martin goes to Star Racing Yamaha Christian, Christian Craig goes to Star Racing Yamaha Joshua Moda goes to Pro Circuit Kawasaki Carson Mumford goes to Chaparral Honda and uh, Hunter Yoda the Geico Honda amateur rider it's, it's unknown where he's going uh, so the Gas Gas team, Troy Lee Designs Red Bull Gas Gas team is pretty cool for next year. I'm loving the um, the marketing for that with um, Bam Bam with his baseball bat. I think that's that's pretty funny. The boys look good, all in red. Uh, so the TLD Red Bull Gas Gas has been officially announced with front runner Justin Barsha leading the team on the 450s with teammates Pierce Brown. Michael Moserman racing on the 250s. After some downsizing, we still aren't totally sure what the future holds for Derek Drake and Pierce Brown. If you'd like to learn more details about the introduction of the team, um, head over to Motocross Action Mag. But yeah, Justin Barsha is confirmed as a Red Bull Troy Lee Designs Gas Gas rider in the 450 class and 
Michael Mosman and Pierce Brown both confirmed for the 250 class, which is cool. So the JGRMX Yoshimura Suzuki Factory Racing closes its doors. Uh, so that team struggled to find sufficient financial support to go racing over the last few years, but it's still a surprise to see the Factory Suzuki effort go even before the 2020 season began. JGRMX was struggling to find a title sponsor. Circumstances have gotten even harder now as the COVID-19 pandemic has completely shaken up the world and the live entertainment industry. Motocross racing at the professional level is a business and the Gibbs family has invested a lot of time, money and energy into creating a team capable of battling at the highest level of supercross and motocross. It's come with its fair share of highs and lows throughout it all. The Gibbs family has continued to support the press forward the JGR MX team was in talks with the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians looking to build a mutually beneficial partnership, but unfortunately they weren't able to get the support right away and the process was being, taking longer than expected. So uh, Alex Martin is going to Manluck Rock River Yamaha Merge Racing. Go. Freddie Noren's going to be a privateer on the Kawasaki 450. Monster Energy Kawasaki is always exciting. Uh, so Eli Tomac and Adam Cincerullo set to pilot the factory Kawasaki for KX450s in 21. Monster Energy Kawasaki team has announced that they are bringing back the two all-star riders, Eli Tomek and Alan S <laughs> Adam Sansarillo for the 21 season. Eli Tomek will run the number one plate and look to defend his 450 title in Supercross, while Adam Sansarillo will be looking to build off his impressive 450 national season and carry the momentum into the 21 Supercross. Uh, so Tomek and Sansarillo both confirmed in the 450 class for Kawasaki. Which is cool. Uh, Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki. So Seth Hamaker will turn pro with the Pro Circuit Kawasaki team in 21. Uh, Joe Shimoda is confirmed for the Pro Circuit on the 250 team. Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki 250 team heads into 2021 with three returning riders and one new rider. Austin Faulkner and Jordan Smith were both injured during the 2020 Supercross season and they missed the Nationals. Now both riders are healthy and prepping for the 21 season. 